Welcome to the PA24 Piper Comanche. This product was developed by A2A Simulations and simulates the real PA24 to exact measurements. This means this tutorial can be applied to real worlds, although I wouldn't really recommend that. Uh, consult your POH for specific and personal details about your aircraft type uh, and your engine model. Obviously I'm not a real pilot, this is just the information I've gathered from my experience of flying the A2A products and through VATSIM and real pilots, um, all, the, all of the knowledge I've gathered through that. In this tutorial I aim to teach people interested in flying sin single engine prop aircraft, uh, IFR or VFR on the VATSIM network with realism at the top of their list of priorities and I want to teach them how to lean effectively. A little bit of information about this aircraft, it has a Lycoming 540 engine, which is a rather old engine, its first flight was, uh, the first engine that was put into service was in 1957. Treating, treating this engine with care is definitely paramount. She's old but she can produce a lot of power, 300 or horsepower can carry this Comanche up to speeds that a 737 would fly at when at low altitude, so it's got a lot of speed and this Comanche can go extremely fast. Let me show you how to get to get started when leaning with lean of peak. So today we're going to be cruising at about 4,000 feet above the south southern coast of uh, the UK. Obviously, it's just a local flight around Southampton with the Orbex scenery. Obviously, you only really want to be leaning an aircraft once you're in cruise, or obviously you want to be leaning it on the ground as well um, during taxi and also when you arrive. But during cruise, it's where you really want to save your fuel. Also to remembering if you don't lean, you're likely going to have your spark plugs fouled, which means your engine is not going to operate to 100% performance. There are two types of leaning that you can do in an aircraft like this. There's one type called a lean of peak, and there's another type called a rich of peak. Today we'll discuss lean of peak. The lean of peak involves you giving the engine as much fuel as it needs, but no more, therefore making the engine as efficient as it can be. So looking over to the tachometer here, you notice we have 2,400 RPM stable, which is a cruise power setting, and about 15.5 gallons at 75% thrust on uh, fuel flow reading. So the way we're going to do this is we're just going to make sure our power is stable, our RPM is stable, and we're going to slowly put out the mixture knob, watching that RPM reading, the uh, tachometer there, making sure that there aren't any drops. Keep pulling it out, and what we're waiting for is the, for the engine to cut. Bam. There we go. And you push it in a little bit more, so that it's stable. So now, if we go back over to the tachometer and the fuel flow gauge, you notice we still have 2400 RPM, however our fuel flow has gone down to about 10 gallons per hour. Remember that fuel has two purposes within engines. One, to keep the engine running to supply power and thrust to the aircraft, but also as an engine coolant. So if you notice your temps are getting a bit hot, stick that mixture in, mixture in a little bit more to get those temps back down. Anyway guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this short tutorial. If you have any questions, please make sure to go in the description. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.